thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. We're starting a new series. I really like this series because it's a little bit different than what I've done in the past. And the reason it's different is in the past, you know, we've looked at Bible characters, maybe looked at like a passage. But what I want to do for this series is look at a verse a week that are key verses for life key verses for life. So, you know, you can think about, well, what are the Bible verses that I like or don't like? And you might be watching and you never like really did anything in the Bible, which is totally good too. I don't care what end of the spectrum, whatever. It's all good because we're going to have a verse today that will kind of help you and give you some content, something to think about um, over the course of this week and maybe reflect. And of course you can share this with anybody, but um, the verse that God put on my heart for this week and honestly, it's like one of my key verses. If I had like a, a monument life verse, this would be it. And it's Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. And it says this, Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom, the strong man in his strength, or the wealthy man in his riches. But let him who boasts, boasts that he knows the Lord God. And as I have looked at this verse and let it kind of sit in my heart and my thoughts, uh, I'll just be real honest with you. I, you know, growing up, I grew up as a pastor's kid. And I've been around all this Jesus, Bible, God stuff whew, for a very long time. And I remember as a little kid, I used to think, you know, how am I going to, how is this thing, whole thing sustainable? How do you do this on a long term? What's the motive? And, and uh, I've always had this passion in my heart to know God. And I believe that that's a divine gift. God, I want to know you. And I understand that it's the, the finite trying to comprehend, if you will, the infinite. But at the same time, I believe God has made us, based on Genesis <laughs> chapters 1 and 2, God has made us for a relationship, to know God and to be known by God. So I just encourage you today, as you think about what's important, what's valuable, what are top core priorities. I think so many times in our lives, we look at wealth, particularly in America. We're like, well, you're successful. And we have our benchmark like money. Money's your success. It's and really, this verse says it's not about money. Life is not about the acquisition of money. Let's not boast and take pride and prioritize getting rich, having money. And some of you watching, you might say, well, that's good because I don't have any. And sometimes that's its own little gyration, mental gyration. Well, you know, poverty and, and you take pride in the poverty or you take pride in the wealth. But this verse says, let's not, let's not take, use wealth as a benchmark of what's important. The other thing is uh, intelligence. Let not the wise man boast in his intelligence. This for me was a real big deal because I always grew up thinking, I want to be super smart. I had a lot of my identity and value in being <laughs> smart. And I uh, had a concussion a couple years ago, so that knocked the sense out of me, which was a good thing because <laughs> that was kind of prioritized. Okay, you don't have to be super smart to be important and valuable. Let's not make that our top goal, Sarah. And then for some of us, we're really passionate about how we look, our, our strength. Sometimes that can be physical strength, but that can also be internal fortitude. You know, like, I'm just really resilient. I'm hardcore. I can do this. And really all these things um, re rotate around ourselves. But instead, let's make our life pursuit, why we live, the pursuit of knowing God. And God who wants us to know them, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and wants to be known by us. So as you watch today, I just encourage you. This is Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. Super helpful key verse. You might want to think about over the course of this week. Love to have you share this with a friend. Love to get some feedback from you. Of course, thumbs up, thumbs down. And of course, you can subscribe. Uh, that would be fantastic. And uh, I'm going to finish with a, a really marvelous joke. I know, look, I have this whole stack. <gasps> I know, you need to be really excited. <laughs> so here's your joke. What do you call a camel with no hump? Humphrey. <laughs> All right, catch you next week. Thanks. Thanks.